It's the London Black Knights taking on the Austin Armadillos. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Austin Armadillos and the London Black Knights. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Londoners as they get ready here. They've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for our visiting Austin Ball Club, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us-against-the-world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. And they'll come out with a three-tight-in look on the first play of the drive. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. From the gun, it's Haskins. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Defensively, though, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. The open man is short, it's complete. And all the way in for the touchdown. DJ Shark. His ninth touchdown of the season. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know there's someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Taken about seven yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not return. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Second and seven. On second down now, it's Gibson. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Antonio Gibson. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. 
And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game and certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Going to give this time to the tailback. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brought down right the tackle by Matthew Ioannidis. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside, they can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, they came into this game saying it was a pretty tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 and the 34. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Is perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. And Lambo now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 Austin's offense ready to go again. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First down, Austin. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. The throw taken in by Sims. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 39-yard line. Here's Haskins out of the gun. Open man here. Sims complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, Austin. And a gain of just two. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Third down, here's Haskins. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, it will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. London about set to take over on offense. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because 
to be ahead of a defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. Also let you know that your preparation was pretty good. And now the defense has to do all the adjusting. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when the back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, Running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them. They gotta like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they decided to say, as you said, establish the run game and they've been successful doing it. That's one they hate. The ball's gotta come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out and they have to start over after the penalty. to throw now on first down. And it's caught right at the 10 yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A 14 yard gain there as they look to improve this 14 point lead. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers and they've got to find them quick. The quick slant caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. A gain of one yard on the play. It's now they'll try to run this one in. And yeah, this is going to depend on his spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We're soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call it off. And this time he is in. Yes. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term that your boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25. Austin's offense ready to go again. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Again, what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. On third down, Haskins. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to pump this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. London about set to take over on offense. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. 
First play of the drive there is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Still 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth when the ball is a rock. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Lambo on for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Five plays there on that drive. 28. Armadillo's nothing. Josh Lambeau is set to kick off. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit, maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. And still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Yannick Ngakwe in on the stop. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. On third down, Gibson, and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they'll look to Haskins to throw it. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and a yard at the 46-yard line. To throw again on second down. Haskins. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. Their own. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. I guess it's good we can't really 
Read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pin back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, he probably couldn't say over the air. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Good strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They're not able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back. is running away with this one. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Their own 25 there again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line, obviously. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it up. And a return will stop right around the 25. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard, and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish. Not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. You were waiting for that. I thought you left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. 23 yards on the pickup there, and a first. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone, but a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. No, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Sportsmanship. Let's not try and score. You should never do that in the NFL. I've seen big leads blown, and teams that look like they had a victory, all of a sudden we're going home with a loss. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. Now, I'm not going to say you completely abandon the passing game, but it would really behoove them to get this running game going more. That's the identity most teams are seeking. Able to establish themselves, control the game by running it. Have to touch it multiple times in order to have success in this game. And as we say, yeah, that's right. As we say all the time, that sets up the passing game. I feel like a broken record with that. Listen, we can be a broken record all we want. Bottom line is, lather up that big horse and let him run. Eventually, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. It's C.J. Henderson picking it up. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder 
because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily. I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And a nice carry there of 15 yards. And he's had his eyes on 7,000 career rushing yards. And with that last effort, he has hit that mark. What a career. And that is the number to focus in on because oftentimes we talk about where do they rank all the time. We're not there yet. He's not knocking on the top 10 or the top 20. But over 7,000 yards in a career, fantastic. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. him on the doorstep first and goal for a lot of guys playing this game there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle he's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup they'll try and run for it on first and goal and he will take this one in for a touchdown a great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to put this one out of reach and always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice and it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on just think about halftime if, if that's is all he gets he'll just sit there and have and think all right two already i get some more i get some more and it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space taken in the end zone and this will not be brought out it's a touchback their own 25 Austin's offense ready to go again and they've sort of lost their way partner how do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track well this is where leadership really comes into play how's the head coach handling it the offensive coordinator sometimes they just make a joke all right guys had your fun all right throw it out the window yeah let's get back on track here and sometimes that'll work just fine I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. It kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. We'll find Gibson here complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. This is caught. And he will take it in for the touchdown from three yards out and his guys are able to at least knock this deficit down a bit for the extra point now the scoreboard still does not look good but at least they polished off that goose egg yeah they've been thoroughly outplayed in the first half finally a little spark of life but it's gonna take a lot more to add to that flame for them to thoroughly get back into this one the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away Inside the 30 at the 27. First and 10 at their own 27 yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's already cruised past the 100 yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep We're, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. And a huge play that time. 41 yards. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. That pass there, complete to Westbrook. And he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. D.D. Westbrook. 
Westbrook. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate the right free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Fielded in the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in the half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Gonna give this time to the tailback. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now the offense gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Now they'll run it on the toss. He's got the first down inside the 10, and he's all the way down to the six yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And this offense is running away with this one. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. That'll be taken in by Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. From the gun, Haskins. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it to combine 33 yards. There's a nice throw there, partner, to start this second half. We knew they'd have to come out and play a little bit of urgency and aggression here in the third quarter, and it paid off on that throw right there. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. London about set to take over on offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working.
them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. A nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. To number 38. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Second and two. Okay, left side. He's got it. Complete. And he's brought down, but not before reaching the 30. They wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. Here's a throw right side, taken in by his tight end. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. From 13 yards out. And this offense continues to pour it on. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Taken in the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Their own 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Operating from the gun, Haskins. And he finds McLaurin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. They run the option here on first and ten. Pass gets hit, and he lost the football. The pass. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson. And he'll take this one down to the 36. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best block. Found his target. It's Anderson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And the gain of four that time as the drive continues. On first down, it's 
it's Gibson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Play action. Haskins. And his throw here is incomplete. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over him. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Hey, I'm with you on that. Are you down that much kicking a field goal? Does it feel a little bit maybe waving the way? Waving the way. I was just going to get that. out of here. Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. London about set to take over on offense. And yeah, they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nice run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage. A ball for it, and it's intercepted. this afternoon finally a win for the defense you think maybe there was an adjustment there finally gained a measure of not really enough to call revenge but got a play done against him and that's been difficult for them all game long it leads to second and ten again on second and ten it's Haskins and he'll find McLaurin this time as that's complete and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds 11 yards there first down first down Armadillo from the gun, Haskins. Oh, and no complete. That's Sims. And yeah, he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. He's brought Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. And it's third down. Operating from the gun. Haskins. Anderson loses the football. It's going the other way. Weaving through traffic and now he's free. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get up So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. For the field goal, a 45-yard attempt. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Well, they needed a jump start. They needed energy. They needed anything positive to get them going in this game. And that fake there, I think, has to provide that spark. Yeah, with that deficit, you might have been anticipating defensively. Could have been a fake. They still executed it, though. Should have been anticipating it, but as you pointed out, they executed it so well, it probably didn't matter. A big-time play there. They'll keep it on the ground. 
It's Gibson, and he'll find his way down right around the 12. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Welcome back now here in London. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and nine. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. The 20 was the threshold yeah, because that yeah, kept them in the ball game and yeah. kept the pressure off of their own offense. Well, right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 39-yard line. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it. And to find short, but it's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Intercepted. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. From the gun, it's Haskins. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The shotgun, Haskins, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked him down at the 10, and a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything, doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 12 yards there and a first down. Play action, they'll throw. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pickup there, 26. 
six yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They'll drop the throw, and it's caught. Touchdown. DJ Chark there to make the grab as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. I'm not sure what other ground there is to cover here. I mean, this offense has been amazing. Just total domination, Charles. They've clicked so well, and if you really focus in on the offensive line, they've protected well when they wanted to throw the ball. They've moved people off the line of scrimmage when they wanted to run it. Smiles all the way around. This offense has been really good in this one. Fielded in the end zone, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Boston's offense ready to go again. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there, and trailing big here in this fourth quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. It's a good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 33-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Haskins. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Two yards to go. Third and two, now Haskins. And that will be incomplete as well. We've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. This is Thomas. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Thomas. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. And man is Westbrook complete. He had getting this chest shy in midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And now the throw taken in by Chark. This to the 25 before it's all said and done. 26 a good pick up there, 26 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up with a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Five yards, now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. They'll look to throw again. And he's got his man in stride complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. And you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. 
guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. Not much there, only a yard. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. At the six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. For them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that's leading them. It's a lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Taken in the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Their own Austin's offense ready to go again. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. That incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Haskins. This one complete to Kelvin Harmon. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here's Haskins out of the gun. Open man is Anderson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Complete. 13 yards that time at a first. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Haskins going to throw again. And now here's another interception. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And now look at him go. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and the lead will swell by one more. 17. Josh Lambeau. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Field in near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The defense working their way back out now onto their home turf. They are holding serve here at home. The fans were into this one. They did what they needed to do. And right now I'm just cupping my hand to my ear and listening to the approval that they're getting from the home crowd right now. That's actually true, by the way. He's, he's physically exactly. coming in right here. A job well done. Exactly what you want to accomplish, though. Let's face it. We talk to every coach in the league. We want to take care of our home games. Establish home field yeah, superiority. Win at, home. win at home. And they're going to get that done. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but it's going to be second down. Second and ten. 
One final shot for Haskins. He's going to let it fly. This is caught. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the home team here, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for Austin, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. Thanks for tuning in.